Hi guys, welcome back to my channel JP Khasi Tech. So today we are going to learn how we can implement vibrator effect on Android. So before starting the project, I want to request a small thing. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and help me to do the new thing next. Let's start with the project. First of all, let's go with the new one. Now I'm going to choose the empty activity next. The name I'm gonna write vibrate vibrator. Okay. The package name I'm gonna keep default one. If you want, you can change according to you. Now the language will be Java and then API level I'm gonna keep minimum for 19, not more than 19 or less than 19. And then this Android X artifact I'm not gonna use, so uncheck and then finish. Let's wait for the gradle to build up. Okay, now it's been completed. It might take time, it depends on your PC and then internet. Now, first of all, let's go to the Android here and change. I want to change to project because I feel more comfortable. Let's go to project, press apps, and then SRC. So, these are the main where we are working. So, this is our Java this one and then this is our layouts now first of all let's remove the constraint layout this one constraint layout because see this is the constraint so i don't need this constraint so i'm gonna use the linear layout constraint layout actually is very good if you know but for the demo purpose i'm not gonna use the constraint i'm just gonna use the linear layout as a in a layout as the main layout okay i'm gonna remove this text view because i'm gonna use button instead of text view I remove this one okay now everything is fine let's show the action bar here it will look good okay. now first of all let's go to the dependency and then remove the constraint layout dependency so it will not take time to build up later okay now just before this below this resources when you will open you will see the files name test app iml and then build that gradle so open this build that gradle there is two type of build that gradle file i will explain this later so now first of all let's go here and down below dependency section and then remove this constraint layout or constraint layout yes dependency and since everything is fine just sync the project again once okay i'll wait for the syncing okay, it's been completed here now let's minimize this now let's go to the coding session first let's go to the xml and then design our xml here i want one button so that whenever the user will click the button they will feel and hear the vibrator so let's see the button first button height and width will be wrap content only it will exist the size by itself i'm not gonna fix the size you can hide now text i'm gonna use uh just say vibrate now vibrate now okay the text is vibrate now and then it's look little smaller i'm gonna change the text size android colon android colon text size and then the text size i'm gonna change to 25 s okay now it's look good now i want this button to be in center i'm gonna go to linear layout and change the orient uh, gravity of the main linear layout gravity i want in center okay now everything looks good let's go to the coding session but first of all let's give me the let's give the id for the button let's say android colon id and then plus id then the id i'm just gonna give button btn nothing just the id now everything is fine let's go to the coding okay let's go to the java here then first of all let's me define the variable for the button so i'm gonna say private private button and the short name for the button i'm gonna say button only and you have to import this one Con uh, alt enter okay now one more variable i need for the vibrator or let's say vibrator just define directly here okay just for demo now let's say uh, find the value or find the ID okay 
or initialize for, for example i need for the button so i'm gonna say variable of button was btn short name and then equal find viewer id the id is inside the resources dot and the id was btn now it's done close with semicolon now here i need to implement the vibrator method so how we can do that first will be vibrator vibrator okay vibrator equal that vibrator was a vibrator itself okay now we are going to use the systems service which means uh, whenever the vibrate method is called i'm gonna use the hardware of the phone to vibrate the systems okay so i'm gonna use the system service so i can say get the system service and the system service is vibrator service so let's say i'm gonna say get system service okay and the service was vibrator service now thus implementing has been completed okay now whenever the user will click the button i want that vibrate to be started so let's we have to give the on click method for button right this one on click functions let's let's go again to the java now let's say variable of the button was btn short name of the button was btn i guess you remember i give here button full and then the copy short name or variable was btn now take the variable button dot set on click listener okay now inside the parameter i have to give new it was a view dot on click listener okay now here we have to give open and close angular black bracket and now we have to implement the method how we can implement just bring the cursor here and then alt enter you can see there in a red you can see implement method just click there and check this one okay now you have implemented the method here now this is the on click method for button whenever the button is clicked this method will be called now let's say whenever the button is clicked i want the vibrator to be vibrate now for the vibrating purpose we have uh, we have to set up for two session because one is for the api level higher than 26 and then one is for api level smaller than 26 now let's set for the 20 uh, higher than 26 first so how we can say this by the help of builder version integer so how we can say if okay if build dot version dot sdk integer is greater than or equal to 26 okay if it is greater than 26 or equal to 10 26 then perform this action yeah okay if it is greater than 26 do this execute this method whenever the button is clicked for the vibrator and and if it is less than 26 then else do this method here okay now we have to set up for two methods this one is for less than oh sorry it's more than for api more than 26 this one i'm just writing so that you will know clearly what i mean and here for api less than 26 okay now we have to set the method for both this one also and this one also this one and this one let's set for the api label more than 26 how we can do this with the help of vibrator effect and then create the short type okay how we can say the short name of the vibrator was vibrate okay now short name was vibrate in a small vibrator dot what i want i want it to be vibrate vibrate okay vibrate inside the vibrate i need the parameter so inside the parameter i have to put the vibrate effect and then create the short how many times so i'm gonna say 
vibrate effect okay vibration effect dot now here i have to define what type of vibrate short wave or any so i'm gonna say it is short create one shot now inside one shot i have to define the time okay i have to define the time how much so i'm gonna give to 200 separated by comma then i have to give vibrate effect and then the default amplitude so i'm gonna say vibrator or vibration effect dot here i'm gonna say default default amplitude okay everything is fine now it's work here why you see this one red i'm gonna tell you this because we have not yet implement the permission in manifest okay that i will tell later so let's see now this one is the method for api label more than 26 now how we can set for less than 26 let's go here and then we just simply go here and then we are going to say the variable of vibrator was vibrator in smallest letter dot i want that vibrator to be vibrate and then inside the parameter i have to define directly the time we don't need any effect or short create okay it is set by default so i'm gonna say here only time so it is 200 only 200 milli millisecond okay now everything is fine now everything completed now why you can see this red line because we have to add the permission to manifest now let's go to manifest the coding session have been completed now let's go to manifest manifest is just when you will open this src you will go to this main after main you can see this manifest file okay this is the manifest file like this you go here manifest file and close this now here we have to put permission here here you can put permission by writing by yourself or you can simply uh, input from the main activity how let's first show you how you can write by add by writing first you can say open parenthesis and use this permission and then the permission android okay uses minus permission space android colon name now what type of permission i want i want the vibrator permission see android dot permission dot vibrate this one now you can close this one like this now permission has been added if you will go back to the main activity the line is no more now clear line is no more because we have added the permission here but this is the one way to add the permission so if you want simply to add the permission just delete this one now how you can directly add the permission from here now you can see the line is there right just bring this one here and then alt enter you will see this when you will bring this cursor here alt okay just alt and then enter you will see this red line here red bulb it says add permission vibrate when you will click here the vibrator permission will be added to the manifest now let's go to the manifest this one and now see the permission has been added already this one can you see this you can do that like this or you can do by typing okay now let's go now let's go and run the project i'm gonna use the nexus for api 21 and one more thing i'm gonna tell you that just let's run this one run and wait for the emulator to start you will not be seeing anything here that vibrate because in this computer vibration that does not work right but if you want to see the vibrating effect you can install this app on your phone and then try the vibration will work successfully okay okay the apps has been installed now it's launching okay. the apps has been completed started now let's say what happened whenever we click so whenever we will click here we will not feel any vibrator because this is just a computer emulator we will not feel any vibrator but, but if you want really a vibration you can try this on your phone so the vibration will work only this for today guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel